Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. What's good, San Diego? Thanks for checking back in with SDPI. My name is Christian Pedersen here in our studio headquarters where we got hoops galore for you. We're going to head out to Rancho Buena Vista as the Lady Longhorns host El Camino. RBV playing host for their first league matchup. Those are the Wildcats of El Camino. This is Maggie Ross. She was in Fuego tonight. Great game to start out the league schedule. Here Ross is going to be the assister to her sister for the bucket. That's deep right there. Erica Everhart, gentle touch off the glass for El Camino. But it wasn't going to be enough for Mizi Farrell. One step, one touch, that's all she needs. El Camino would have some scoring spurts, but it would not be enough to ever really dominate. RBV just kept piling it on. That's great teamwork right there to get it to Aisha Hill. Hey, teamwork makes the dream work. What can we say? More from Ross in the second half. Dominant presence in the paint. Kendall Crosby, the stop, the score. It's just that simple sometimes as RBV takes their first league game. Here's Maggie Ross after the game. Um, I think we just really wanted it. We really didn't want to lose in our first league game. Um, yeah, we just came out with a fire. Same gym, men's teams this time. That's El Camino in those bright yellows. They were feeling it tonight, thanks to Trevor McDollar Menu McFeely. That's a gentle touch right there. More from him later in the game, but then it became Sean Burke Hot Soup. A nice mulligatawny on the menu for him tonight. Connor Ramirez, though, would not be outdone as he helps RVV make a game of it early. Here's his buddy Trey Chomp Chomp the Gator. That's an interior. No good on the free throw later, though. Back to Burke. If you launch him from any deeper, you're going to have to put an extra stamp on it, kid. Again, splash. Hot soup on the menu, as I said. This one's Eric Pierce. He's going to join in as El Camino starts to run away with it. Tovin Schwartz, though, says, hey, I can launch from deep, why not? One more gentle tap from McFeely for the McValue McBucket. El Camino firing on all cylinders as they pull home their first league victory. What was clicking well? Um, we're moving the ball, and uh, yeah, I, was just, I was just hitting shots. I was being confident, I wasn't thinking, and they just went in for me. It's time now for our game of the night. Let's head over to the lovely and talented Maddie Sinclair with more on the matchup. The game to be at tonight were the Knights versus the Tories as La Jolla Country's Day's undefeated streak is now over as they were unable to win against Foothills Christian. Check out these highlights to see how that went down. Country Day wearing that white and Foothills Christian in that night black. Country Day trying to keep that undefeated record until TJ Leaf stepped on the court. Nico Peranata, hard to say because I'm too busy watching that three. Don't just leave Alex Cho open like that because he'll just throw that three in your face. Another person to do that is Mr. Ryan Langborg. Bruce Edwards was working the interior, but that just wasn't the answer. Second half, Foothills Christian running away with it. And TJ Leaf puts the final points on that board. Country Day lost their first game of the season. Foothills Christian wins 68 to 42. We talk with Omaji Smith after the game. Uh, team chemistry is like is like pizza with toppings. Like it's it's just there. Like we're never really off with each other. If we're off, it's in practice. But then once in the game, we're all in sync. 